So I'm going to walk through the shear water overlay uh, that you can put on your diving videos. As I share my screen, this is under the assumption that you have purchased telemetry overlay and have purchased the product. Um, I do not know what the behavior would be for the free version. So I'm using the uh, paid version of the product. <clears throat> so after I, I have downloaded and installed the telemetry overlay, um, in the instructions, there is the download for the shear water components. By going to this Google Drive, um, it has the components for the uh, telemetry overlay. So I'm going to download it. And Go to my directory. And there's two different places that this needs to go. The first one is this format, Shearwater, this Excel template. Copy that, and I'm going to go into my documents, and there's a should be a folder called Custom Offlist Templates. Place it in here. And because you downloaded it, you'll need to go to the properties of this template and check this unblock in the properties window here. So down here at the bottom right. The next thing we will do is go back to that zip file and copy these last four files and go to the C drive program files, telemetry overlay, and go to the resources directory, paste those files. You don't need admin privileges, so uh, press continue. Do this for all the four items. All right, now that everything is installed, the next thing that we'll do is we will uh, format, we will uh, download our drive, our dive that we care about. In this case, I opened up the Shearwater Cloud app and I'm looking at all the dives. And in this case, I want to do dive number 1194. So I highlight 1194 and download this as a CSV. And Shearwater has a bug in their software that puts a CSV.CSV file. So I'll take one of the ex, um, extensions off. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy the 1194 to use it later. Once that is downloaded, I open the file location. And I've already downloaded my uh, my video for my dive one one nine four. So I'm going to open up the Excel the CSV of my dive. And I'm going to control A to highlight everything. <clears throat> and I'm going to copy it. And then I go to new. And I scroll down to personal. Inside personal, there should be an, a new format Shearwater 
which is that Excel template that we just put in the custom office templates. And go ahead and paste it in A1. And if you click on that save a CSV, uh, all the data that we need for our telemetry is here. So we want to go file, save as, browse. And I'm going to put it in my output directory. As another CSV. And paste the dive. Which didn't seem to work. So 1194. Save. Yes, it's not supported. All right, now that I have downloaded the or converted the data from the Shearwater CSV to the, the type that telemetry will need. I can close this. I'm not going to save it. And I can close my original file. The next thing is I will open up telemetry. And I'm going to load that video. So I'm going to load uh, 1194. And for the sake of time, I am not going to let telemetry analyze the video or optimize the video. There isn't any telemetry that is baked into the video. I know that for Insta360, they have a subsequent file that, that you can attach to it. Um, but you'd have to read the instructions. Uh, so I want to load my telemetry file. And this is the uh, 1194.csv that I just saved from Excel. All right, and then we're going to go to the patterns. And uh, your instance of telemetry won't have these shortcuts down at the bottom here. So you just go load pattern. And uh, we don't have any patterns to delete, but I leave those set. And then we go to the telemetry overlay install folder into the resources directory and we'll do first do the backup computer and here we have the telemetry overlay uh, um, applying the shear water computer and your dive depth chart um, However, you will probably need to adjust the uh, timing of when the computer starts recording and when your video records. So for me, the easiest way is to find a point that I know coincides. So I'm going to choose the lowest point. Um, that is... Right here, I go to sync telemetry. And at the bottom here, there's an offset slider. And so I can simply. Put this at the bottom here of my dive. Close. 
And I can play it to make sure that this is where it is. So this looks correct. Next part is I will export it. I'm picky about my videos, so I want to give the best quality. Include the um, original audio. And I don't want to record over the video that I have, so I always change my output to overlay. And I press export. Now this takes a while to export, creating a similar sized, if not a little bigger uh, video. I'm not going to have you watch this export, but it does, and then you can upload it into YouTube um, to show it to your friends. I'm going to change the export and uh, leave everything the same. I go back to gauges, and if I wanted to change it to the computer that is that is my primary computer, or I'm I'm di I'm diving it as my primary computer. I go back to telemetry overlay resources and the Shearwater primary computer. And it has the same effect, just more information, my PO2s for each of the sensors. And then I could go and do the exact same three, the exact same thing. I hope this was good information. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to send me a message um, and hopefully you can all brag to your friends about how awesome diving is and show them some of the wonders that is only available to us as divers. Thank you.